I'm Amber Dolly Thorne and today I'm here with the cast, director and producer of New Mutants. Guys, lovely to have you here. Playing characters with superpowers is, for any actor, it's pretty much a childhood dream, isn't it? It is. If you could have any superpower in real life, what would you choose and why? God. Difficult question. I would change it to someone else and turn into Trump and say really nice things. <laughs> so basically you, w you want to be Misty just so you can kind of yeah, shape shift yeah. a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I think I would like to teletransport because I travel so That's much. Oh, it would yeah. be amazing so to just time. like come be here and then. Take me to Tokyo. Exactly. Take me to London. I would fly. Teleportation. Ooh. Flying with fly. Let's say Both kind of variations of the same no. superpower you I feel could like say. I'd be too afraid of like even if I could fly, I would only fly like a you know. You just kind of hover <laughs> along a little bit. Two stories or something. <laughs> any more than that, I'd be like, no. <laughs> How does it feel to finally be a part of the X Men family? It's something a lot of people dream of. You guys are living it. How does it feel? Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really nice. It's really cool, especially because the fan base for this type of film. They're so amazing because they know so much about the characters because they read the comics. I also love what the mutants represent in our world would be the outcasts, you mm -hmm. know, people that are just different by nature. Our representation in our world, being from Brazil, going abroad, doing what we do, we face things that these characters have faced. It's really interesting to have that dynamic on screen playing someone else with different problems that you can relate to. It's what I love about the mutants. New Mutants is obviously quite a dark twist in comparison to the previous X-Men movies. How difficult was it taking the film in a new direction to what's been done before? Well, I mean, the, 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 the comics themselves sort of dictated the genre. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very much based on Bill Sienkiewicz's run with Chris Claremont for New Mutants, uh, based on something called Demon Bear, which a lot of X-Men fans would know what that was. Uh, but those comics are very dark and surreal and nightmarish. We just liked them, they were just very different. And Fox, I think, was emboldened by the success of Deadpool and Logan to let us love Deadpool. try to do something different. <laughs> it's good being able to do something different because a lot of the superhero films nowadays, they're all really lighthearted and comedic. And whilst that's great for people, like, I'm a really, really big horror fan. Yeah. So seeing a type of film that's turning into a thriller and a horror with all of the superhero elements is just amazing. It's just like what you were saying, like, you know, we're all joking about what powers we would like to have. Because it's like you always fantasize, oh, if I had superpowers, but we kind of tried to approach it from the tact of like, if you were actually a teenager and then suddenly developed some sort of mutant power, it would probably be terrifying, terrifying. you yeah. know, more so than like, oh, I'm going to become a superhero. It would be like, what is this awful thing I've been cursed with? You yeah, know, as if so puberty isn't bad enough, adding some right. powers into the mix. Exactly. Like you're already dealing with so much <laughs> at that age and everything. And to discover that about yourself and that you're some sort of like freak of nature mm -hmm. and everything that sort of helps separate it from everything else mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and you know it is it is a horror movie but it is also a superhero movie mm -hmm. uh it's just hidden inside of a horror movie mm -hmm. i think they both go very well hand in hand and it'll be interesting to see if this paves the way for other similar movies in the future we hope so yeah and we have a lot of uh big plans for you know for this these series to do much more in the next mm -hmm. one and the one after when you were filming what was the biggest obstacle that you faced taking in a new direction or just the story itself what was the biggest obstacle for you well when we spent a couple of years writing the script before i went and shot the movie we worked on it for two or three years i think so it's just the process you go through with the studio on any project this size and when you're trying to do something new for the first time. So uh, it was just trying to figure out the best way to tell this story. If you could be any of the X-Men characters from New Mutants or the previous films, which one would you be? Magic. I mean, not only a girl, but, <laughs> but, I, but I'd be magic. It's kind of be gender neutral. Awesome, magic's awesome. I guess we'll rain, but more for the healing. You, you just know. keep the blades in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just kind of bring the them out for a party in. trick every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> if you're cooking. What is it that first made you want to get involved with this project? I was a big fan of director Josh Boone's. When he called me, I was just really excited to get to work with someone that I could see that was an amazing director for actors, and also having someone like him directing a genre film and actually kind of two genre films. One side is like a dark horror film and the other side is like X-Men mm -hmm. superhero world. So the combination of it was very exciting. I've known this guy since we were little babies. Oh, our wow. moms are best friends. Uh, so we spent our entire childhood uh, reading comics and we had our own comic book company. So we would write wow. and draw comics together. Uh, and we loved Marvel Comics, so we've been interested in this property really since we were kids. We yeah. made like a long comic book pitch yeah. uh, for the idea that we made like a comic so book for Fox. You actually made a comic book yourself? We made, yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Not many people can say that they've done that. Yeah, that's how we kind of sold them on the idea to go do this trilogy of New Mutants films that all were different horror genres. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for yours. To you both. I am so excited for everyone to see the New Mutants film. It's absolutely incredible. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I want you to respond truthfully. Have you ever hurt someone? Yes.
Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider abnormal? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? Did you know baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous than adult ones? They haven't learned how to control how much venom they secrete. All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. been through a lot. Get some rest. <laughs> 